Good afternoon, I'm Dave Robinson and this is part two of Stoma Care Products. If you recall in part one, I'd mentioned about the flapjack, Lorraine Pascal's flapjack, and the fact that Nick, next door, the builder, who's the flapjack guru, apparently, said it's the best he's ever tasted. Well, it dawned on me that as part of these uh, vlogs, um, we could perhaps do a little bit of baking together at some point. I've got a few recipes. Um, this one is particularly easy to do. You don't need any electrical items to do, no mixer. Uh, so at some point we'll, we'll do it together and you can enjoy it just as much as Nick next door does. James Martin would be very proud of me because it's full of butter. Joe Wicks would definitely give it the thumbs down. Anyway, back to Stoma Care products. Uh, I've had some new product delivered today. What I want to do is take you through what I've um, currently been using uh, and then we'll have a look at uh, uh, these new products. So bear with me and we will uh, we'll have a look together. So welcome to my den, the nerve centre of my stoma care. And what I want to do then is just talk you through some of the products that I've been using up until this point but also I want to talk you through the new products that have been delivered today. So let me just uh, take you through the items that uh, you need. Um, so obviously if you know, you're already a Stoma Care user, you'll be perhaps familiar with it, but uh, particularly if you're a new user or you're about to have a Stoma and wondering what's this all about, uh, hopefully this might uh, help. Uh, all I'm on about here is a little bit of hints and tips and probably more than anything in this uh, vlog is just a bit of understanding, particularly for Joe Public, uh, in terms of understanding what stoma uh, stoma's about, really, because uh, you know, before all of this, I must admit, didn't know much about them, uh, a little bit of a mystery. I think just reflecting back as well, one of the interesting things is, and it's, it dawned on me the other day, is that with the magic key I mentioned that gives you access into disabled toilets, I just wondered what reaction I might get if I went to the football, when we can go to the football, um, and I started using disabled toilets. Uh, I'm a, a Leicester City season ticket holder, love the football, well done last night lads, made up for the lousy weekend that you gave me. Um, but yeah, if I was to say come out of the disabled toilet and there's somebody there in a wheelchair, uh, they're going to think, what the heck's he up to? You know, why is he using a facility that clearly I need to? Well, although it, it, it's, it's one of these disabilities is a little bit hidden. As I said earlier, I didn't really know anything about it. Um, but as, uh, you know, somebody that's now got a stoma, I... Personally, I clearly need access to uh, toilets, really, other than the the, the, the norm. Um, you know, there is a campaign, I believe, to, to change the word disabled into multi-access. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's right or wrong, if, I, if I'm honest. Um, but I think the point I'm trying to make here is don't judge uh, automatically, that, you know, somebody like me that perhaps looks perfectly fine is coming out of a disabled toilet, having used it inappropriately. In an ideal world, if I was to go in, I'd need a shelf to lay all these products out. I'm not sure that I'm going to find that luxury and I'm going to have to find ways of coping. The other thing is, uh, when I'm at home, my technique for emptying my bag is to, to kneel, kneel at the toilet. In a public toilet, that's going to be a little bit tricky particularly when blokes, uh, hopefully I'm not included in this, but blokes can tend to stand on the seat and aim outwards, or certainly that's the impression you get when you go in after them. So I'm going to have to change my technique, aren't I, uh, in terms of that, but uh, I'm sure that's going to be uh, relatively easy. So let's just talk you through these products and what we've got. First things first, uh, disposal bag. So that's for all the nasties, all the dirties that go in to your bag. And uh, here we've got a steri wipe. You're going to need that to clean off. Prior to the steri wipe, you'll need a bit of gauze. Dip it in some hot water uh, just here. I've just got a little tub. 
some people put a bit of soap and water in there it's entirely your preference uh, another key element is this stuff and uh, this is uh, used to get the adhesive off when you're peeling off your stoma bag really helpful you can imagine it's like waxing to be honest if you don't but this stuff is brilliant now I'll let you into a little secret uh, that I'm reliably informed it's great for getting stickers off like things like glasses so if you went and say bought a uh, wine glass you know what it's like trying to peel the price label off you're forever there soaking it trying to get it off apparently this stuff is brilliant I personally won't be using it for that this to me is like liquid gold can't get enough of it I've been having a lot of leaks probably on a daily basis so I've been getting through bags and this kind of product a bit more than I should um, possibly costing my GP a little bit more than uh, they would like as well the other product is the actual stoma bag if you notice there's a bit of a template around here the reason for that is we all have different sized stomas particularly after an op it will be swollen um, and you're having to manually cut it to size over time as it settles uh, as mine has pretty much done now uh, you can have the whole pre-cut so the product that I'm going to show you in a bit I've got the luxury now of having that whole cut to size prior to that you're going to need one of this as a template it looks like something you put your socket kit in uh, you guys in your garage or girls even um, but yeah you you put this over your uh, over the stoma and try and match it the best you can to get the best fit put it onto the template use your pen draw around it and use your scissors to cut it to size I've had a bit of a problem in terms of that it's just a bit tricky sometimes to get the right fit it's a fine balance between getting the whole um, snug but not chafing um, and yeah I, clearly I've been getting it wrong uh, I think I've been perhaps overcompensating making it a little bit big um, and I'll get a little bit of leakage around that particular area don't want to be exposing the skin particularly when you've got chemo because it can burn and that's probably a reason that uh, you know I've had some of the problems with my stoma being very sore uh, that I've had so I'm hoping the new product will be a lot better so just in summary on the old products yeah there's a fair bit to do uh, you get used to it you get used to it very quickly um, say so I've been having a lot of leaks so I've been changing my bag at least once a day if not twice a day just purely because of that so I want to come on to the new product that I've got uh, I'm gonna to have to try and swing you around somehow uh, so bear with me just here we go hopefully you can see that okay just get myself in shot so this is uh, one that my I've talked to with my stoma nurse who's really helpful uh, I believe the last lady that I had, because I have different uh, nurses come to come to the house and certainly in the hospital that I speak to. And uh, yeah, she recommended this. Now, this is a two piece. Uh, I have used it. So uh, yeah, I had got some samples through and I quite liked it. I, in fact, I preferred it to the one that I've just shown you. So this here is the backing plate and the, the backing plate fits over the stoma area. Um, and this basically attaches to it. So what are the advantages of having a two piece? Well, this can actually stay in place for two or three days. Uh, I've opted to change it uh, every other day, see how we get on. And uh, the bag, apparently you can keep that on for a couple of days without changing. My preference, again, personal hygiene, I just prefer to change it on a daily basis. That basically goes on to this backing plate, as I said. Uh, and when it comes to changing, you know, we use this, this spray again to take the adhesive off. And rather than taking the whole thing off, you just take the front cover. So I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit easier. I particularly like this bag uh, in, in terms of its features, although the one that I've just shown you has similar sort of feature. It's just slightly differently made. Um, I'd say, well, is it a bit more comfortable? Yeah, I think for me it is. Uh, but that's that's it. It's in its entirety. So it folds up quite nicely. 
Um, and then there is a little pouch under here that you can tuck that end bit in and it forms a very nice bag. In fact, I'm just going to turn you around again. I'll show you because I've actually got mine on. Um, so you can probably see that. OK, it's quite discreet. Uh, it's not too bad. I think in, a, in an ideal world, I'd wear that loud and proud. And there are some people that do. The, there's various covers on the market, but I think that some manufacturers are probably missing a bit of a trick. I know Nike do one, um, but I think, you know, we need to be a bit more loud and proud about about it. You know, ladies, you know, who are swimming, for example, to wear a bikini, you're going to have to be loud and proud to do it. I, you know, I've been watching a few videos of people and, you know, there are there are some ladies that are bold enough to be able to do it. Um would it be offensive to people? Again, I think it's just getting over the stigma of that. Uh, would it leak? I, I'd hope not. And again, this is where manufacturers really need to work with uh, those that have got stomas to try and develop um, better seals. Because clearly, you know, it's a challenge. One of my work colleagues, uh, shout out to, to Scott, uh, has been in touch. His, his mother has had an ileostomy for 40 years and she's kindly... Uh, taking some photographs of various products that she uses to try and keep the seal, etc. Done some post-its and I'm sure that's going to be helpful. But in my mind, I'm like, why are we having to try and find the solutions? We should be working very more closely with manufacturers um, to, to provide a product that uh, better suits. You know, if they've been around for 40 years, for goodness sake, I'm sure they've developed quite a lot over that time, but you'd like to think in this day and age that there's an adhesive that works really well uh, and, you know, the leakage factor becomes less. So that's it in a nutshell. I'm hoping you found that uh, of interest. I say part of these is really building awareness. I'm trying to share the odd hint and tip as well. And particularly those that, um, you know, know nothing about this. Uh, again, I'm just trying to get it out there into the public domain. Uh, I've had uh, an email from Cancer uh, Research today to say that they might be interested in, uh, in having a look at my videos. Um, again, it's about me sharing my personal, uh, my, my personal journey and, and just helping others. So that's it for today. I hope you've, again, you found it a benefit. Not sure what the next one's going to be, but I did promise you that I would uh, share the next part of my journey from Crohn's to cancer. So maybe that's what I need to focus on. Really keen to do something in terms of an interview with my wife and my girls as well. And they are on my priority list, but I've still got lots that I really want to cover. Uh, and as I say, I just want to mix it up a bit going forward, perhaps do a bit of baking together. Or something like that that helps relax me uh, you know so particularly over the past few days it's been a little bit tough so mentally that that, that really helps um, and hopefully it might be of help to you so I'll say God bless for today and I'll see you again soon